the supplies you're going to need for this project are some reusable coffee cups. These I got at my local dollar, family dollar. You can also get them at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, I think Walmart, most any places have them. You'll need, um, and you'll get two out of one pack. Your crocheted mug cozy. Some treat, Christmas treat bags. Some decorative thread. Some fun ribbon and a good selection of tea. So that is what our simple supplies are for this project. I will show you how to make this as well. To make your coffee cozy you'll need some worsted weight yarn. These are the Karen um, Pantone sets that were color coordinated. Um, I'll pop in a picture here. Oh, it's like right at 20 yards, maybe 30 yards, and I don't even use all of it. I'll show you. Um, you end up having about this much left out of each ball after you finish one. And I'm going to show you how you can use the leftovers from one to embellish another. So, you need some worsted weight yarn scraps. You need a 5.5 millimeter size I or a 9 crochet hook, some scissors, a darning needle, and a removable stitch marker. All right, let's get started. To begin, you're going to take your yarn and make a slip knot. And then you're going to chain 27 stitches. So one. Six and 27. Once you get to this, you're going to join your stitches with a slip knot, making sure that your initial chain is not twisted or your whole work will be twisted. And I just do this by holding my hand in there and going through. Then you just slip. Slip stitch. Pull it through. All right, and now you're going to work two chain stitches and a half double crochet. A half double crochet is wrap around once, go through the same loop that you just did your chain in, pull up a loop, wrap, and pull through all three loops. Now you're going to do that all the way around, and then you'll have and you'll have 27 half double crochets. Come back. I'll do that one more time. Wrap through, pull a loop, wrap, and pull through all three. Wrap, pull, and there we go. After you've gotten back around and done all 27 half double crochets, what you're going to do, you're going to see that this is your first stitch. You're going to go ahead and work. You're not going to slip stitch or anything to close. You're just going to keep working this in a spiral. So you're going to go ahead and work a half double crochet into this stitch right here. And this is the stitch you're going to mark. So you're going to do another one. And then you're going to mark this as your first stitch. Because that is where that stitch is coming out of. So you're just going to go ahead. I don't close it, it makes it easier for me to go around. And you're going to keep working in that manner until you get eight rounds. Once you have eight rounds 
of half double crochets, you'll be ready to finish it off. Um, I have one here that's almost finished, and I'm going to show you how to count the rounds. One, two, three, four, five. I'm on round six. And so you can see, here's the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one hadn't had all of its rounds. So this one, move this one out of the way. This one, it's as you can see, it's easier to work as you get more rounds on it. It's not as fiddly as at the beginning. So once you get your eight rounds, what you're going to do, you'll get up here and you'll have finished your eight rounds and you're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. And what that does, that evens it up and it makes it more round. And then I always just put the seam on the edge when I fold it. And we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to embellish this. But I'll show you how to work the slip stitch really quick. Even though this one is not finished, I'm gonna let me get to the end of this round, and I will show you how to work that slip stitch. All right, so you're gonna go. This is your first stitch of the next round. So you're gonna pull that out. So now you can count one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which you'll have eight. And then you're going to slip, pull it through. So let's show you that again. You're going to put your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and pull it through both loops. Pull it through that loop. You're going to do it one more time. And that evens it off. And just pull it and pull your yarn through. I'm going to pull this back because so I'm going to finish this one. But that's how you do it, and that's how you finish your really pretty crocheted cup cozy. After you've finished it, you're going to need to weave in two ends. And what you're going to do, I flipped it inside out, thread my needle, and then I always make sure I go down right below that first stitch. So right here. And if you notice, there's a stitch here, or a loop here and a loop here. And I go through, and what that does, that pulls it through that stitch. And then I'll go down to the next row, and I'll do the same thing. Those three loops right here, I'm going to go through them, pull it through. And then I'm going to turn, go through one. This is just how I weave them in. You don't have to do it this way. But I do it a few times because I want it to be sturdy. And because this yarn is acrylic, it's going to be easy to wash, easy to care for. So if coffee does spill on it, it can just be easy to do. All right, there's that. We'll snip that end off. And we'll do the same thing with this end. But there you go. You can't even see where that end was woven in. And on the front, you can't see it either. All right. Now I want to show you an idea on how to embellish your finished pieces. These are already woven in, ready to do. And so I'm going to use, these are my scraps where I've already done all these colors. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a color that's pretty good contrast, but looks coordinating. Like, I don't, like that one. Maybe. Maybe. I do like that with that. And I like that with that. Alright, so what you're going to do, you can either go back and take your crochet hook and work a slip stitch along the top edge which is I pull up a loop, go back to where my seam was, start here, and all I'm doing is pull a loop up, go in the next one, pull a loop through, go in the next one, do the same thing. And it just adds another color 
right around the edge of your coffee cuff. So it just gives it another cute little detail that you can do that is very simple and easy addition. So it gives it a cute little contrast band and you do it at the top and you do it at the bottom. Oops, I ended up doing single crochets. So all you're wanting to do is pull it through. You're basically making a chain on top of your work. So all you're doing is pulling it through, pulling a loop up, pulling it through, pulling a loop up, pulling it through. That's it. And it makes a really cute little border right at the top. When you get to this end, go ahead and go over the first stitch and pull another loop through. And then you're just going to go ahead and you don't need this much to, turn, to go in. Just trim that off. And pull it straight through. Because what you're going to do, then you can just pull it through so it's not seen. And that's what it looks like. It's so cute. Alright, to make your gift, what you're going to do, there's two of these. Go ahead and take them apart, because you only need one. I go ahead and take the sticker off the bottom. And I like to go ahead and put Cup Cozy on it. There we go. You're going to take a little of this shred and put it in the bottom of your cup. The shred um, was picked up at the Dollar Tree. So these little gifts will, including the yarn, the cup, the shred, the tea, and the bag and the ribbon, it'll cost, it's about a $5 gift. Um, so what I do is I always, I have, I pick a selection of tea that I have, that I add to it. And I'll put three different types of tea in each cup. You can add more or less. You can add some candy. Add hot chocolate. Other things to this. Um, however you want to do this. Um, and then pop the lid on. And then you have your treat bag. I don't put any shred in here. because just, I just put it in here so it doesn't shake. Pop it in the treat bag. The treat bags come with little um, trash ties, basically. And just grab it up. And I give it a spin. That gives me a good tight area to tighten the little trash tie. And then I just wrap it around it so it doesn't show. Take the ribbon and tie a bow. And this can be used for multiple different um, holidays or gift giving. You can make teacher gifts. Um, it makes it really easy, especially if you've got a high schooler and you know you have seven teachers. This makes it where it works really good. Um, I always just try to make sure that the little cup cozy stays up over the writing because most of them do have writing on it. If you wanted to add something extra to it, you could add a Starbucks gift card um, or any other kind of gift card or even a little small bag of coffee. Um, but that is your cute little gift. I do try to make sure the, the design goes around. But as I said, you can make this for multiple different occasions. Great little teacher gifts. Add a cute tag on it. And it makes a fun mix of handmade and store-bought. So it gives you something, you know, they really know, they know that you took some time to make something as well as, you know, it's a fun little gift. And I like receiving these little gifts and I like to give them. So it makes a super simple, quick and easy gift. If you only have to make one, 
total time to make this is less than an hour. Um, but you can make, I've made enough cup cozies to make six of these. So it took me about three hours total to make all the cup cozies and put all the gifts together to make six. So I hope you enjoy it.